You can tell somebody hadn't been fishing in a while. He, uh, so we've tried a few things this morning. Buzz bait had a couple of bites. Uh, swam a jig, had a bite or two. But you always kind of have that feeling that a bait's gonna, and I just feel like a frog, it's just that time of year, you know, a lot of shad and stuff up shallow, but I feel like the old frog will get some bites if I just keep it in my hand. Like that one right there, I actually killed it and he got it. So we need to, uh, you know, I've been just kind of bringing it, which I, which I do about 95% of the time. But we may need to kind of slow it down a little bit around that. But where we're fishing, we're just on a we're on a river system. Uh, you know, it's September, and and where I live, fishing gets tough. I mean, it just it gets tough. You have it's just not consistent. You'll have a really really good day, and then you'll have a you know a day. And and what the reason that is is. I think is you just get around that bait one day, you know, and there'll be a lot of fish around. And the next day you come back and try to do the, you know, you try to do the same thing and, and everything's just changed. And that's, that's kind of the, kind of the deal this time of year. It just changes, changes fast. So you gotta try different things. And that's the reason, I mean, we, we're just kind of bouncing around. We're just fishing, uh, you know, and the reason that I, kind of chose the river today was whenever that fishing gets tough the best thing to do in my opinion is get around some current which you know our river is going to have at least it'll keep them you know up there shallow and won't float around in the middle as much as they do but yeah we're just fishing hopefully we figure out a bait that that we can catch some it's kind of the, it's kind of the, whenever we, I go to these rivers, it's almost like a tide. That water changes every day as far as water level. And we've, we've kind of got a, the worst water level that you can have. It's, it's kind of medium. It's not high where they'll really get up in that grass. And it's not low where, you know, they'll pull out and get on these outside stumps and stuff. So. They're just kind of scattered everywhere. But right, we, we're finally getting around an area where, you know, I've never been, never been in this oxbow, but you know, this little old point right here with some wind kicking in, I'd, I'd be pretty surprised if we didn't get a bite or two. Come here, buddy. That's two bites. And one thing that I've learned is they're just not aggressive. I had two bites on a buzz bait and neither one of them got it. And both frog bites have just been, you know, just not that aggressive. So, you know, all, so already like I'm, your thought process, you know, it starts changing a little bit. You know, you can't move as fast. We may have to do a little flipping. And it could be, it's just, I don't know, where, where it's just typical of fishing. There's always a morning bite, which we missed. We didn't start till a little bit later. And then there's always just kind of a lull and then they'll uh, kind of pick back up in the afternoon. So it could be that, it could be that I'm just not throwing the right bait that'll make them get crazy. Or it could be they just ain't biting that good. Water's still almost 80, so. Feels like a deer hunting morning and I know the deer's going crazy, but the bass just don't seem to be yet.
Now he wanted to buzz bait. <clears throat> Got a little wind right here and that's the reason I picked it up is just that wind's kind of blowing, blowing in this little pocket. He got all over it. Just wish it had been about three pounds heavier. I think we figured out how to catch them. We really, I made five casts at the mouth of these bays and two or three bites. He's blind in one eye. That's probably why he ate it. I mean, just like the way you want them to bite it, just go. I really think it's gonna get better as the day goes. <clears throat> These rivers and stuff, a lot of times, I mean, you can see there's still a lot of, just a lot of shade. The sun gets up and they're gonna get up there around something. The good thing about a buzz bay, you can just, you can cover a lot of water and that's like practicing for tournaments and stuff. It's just a good way to move through an area real quick and see how many bites you can get. You can always come back through and flip or do something different. You can just cover a lot of water and you can catch big ones. There's been a lot of tournaments, <coughs> not a lot, but I remember one where I didn't have a good practice at all. And so I just decided to pick up a buzz bait and just fish. And I end up catching a giant bag the first day just on a buzz bait. Ended up second in that event. But, and that's just because I just decided just to cover a ton, ton of water. He's not very big, but that's a pretty good lesson. I've been doing this for a long time and I have never, ever missed one on a buzz bait and thrown a buzz bait back in there and caught him. That's why I laid that flipping stick out just, just for that. I don't know if it's just the sound and they know it's, it's not real or what, but Frogs different, spooks different, but I never can catch them on the next cast when I miss one, ever. I'm sure somebody watching this said he's done it a hundred times, but I have never done it. You know, we've, I've bounced around on these weeds and I know that there's fish in them. That's the thing is I know that there's, there's just not anywhere else really for them to hide. You know, we buzz, we got some buzz bait bites and some frog bites and just pick up this tube and just flip it around and see if we can get a bite doing that. You know, it's this kind of sparse stuff can be it's kind of tough to flip because there's really not a rhyme or reason where they're going to be at. You just got to flip. I mean, you know, the points and the little edges and stuff. Yeah, they're going to be better, but you just got to take off flipping. It's like this, you know, this weed bed coming up here. It looks like a buzz bait or a frog or a swim jig kind of weed bed, not a flipping kind, but there's just there's days on this river when the current slows down that they just get lazy. They get up there and they don't, uh, 
they really don't want to bite. They don't want to chase nothing. So you got to try to put something right on their head. There's another, there's another bite. Right I just bumped a fish, but it was for sure something alive. A lot of times I'll swim this. I'll just swim this tube through there. You know, places where it's open, where you wouldn't think that you would flip, I'll just kind of swim it like a swim jig. And then when I get to the edge or a little, you know, thick spot, I'll actually kind of fish it through. Sometimes it is though. Literally just about to start talking about how every one of these trips is not always like we think it's gonna go. You know, it's real, I mean, we're, we're not on private stuff. We're on public stuff and it's September and fishing is just, it's just tough. I mean, I've caught a fish on every one of these rods on the deck. Actually a couple, I think on each one. But it's just not easy. I mean, it's just, and that's kind of like a lot of times September fishing is. I mean, you just kind of got to hodgepodge around and catch some. Uh, but it's not always rose petals like people think it is trying to film this. There's days that, honestly, that I load the boat and I'm just like, I don't have a clue. And those are the kind of days that, that I hate. But it is what it is. We're going to wrap up and see what we can do. I hope you guys learned something. I don't know what you learned today, but hopefully you learned something and appreciate you uh, riding along.